Here is a way to quickly create a name tag or other identification tag that a character would wear. Um, so I've loaded a character and this is an iClone. So if you need it on a CC character, um, you first need to send your CC character to iClone to complete this process. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create my name tag in an external application or you know, find an image that I want to use. And so I basically have a 2D image of my name tag. And what I'm going to do is then drag that into my preview window from um, a Windows Explorer window. And so you can either right click and drag it in or hold down control and left click and drag it in. I'm going to right click and drag it into my scene. All right and then drop it in there. And this menu will pop up and give you options of how you want to insert it. Insert as a plane. And now it's a prop inside of iClone. So what you want to do is um, scale it. So you can use the um, regular scale tool. Press R on your keyboard for a quick shortcut. And then I'm going to make that quite a bit smaller so it'll fit my character better. And then I'm going to place it, you know, kind of onto my character. So let's see if we can get a good placement here. Um, and when you get close, obviously you're going to want to zoom in so you can see what you're doing. And then so that's a little bit. On the, there we go and we probably want this up here on the guy and then I'm holding down alt and the right mouse button to rotate around my selection um, and so at this point I'm going to rotate a little bit you can press E or select the rotate tool here to kind of align it with his body a little better now you'll notice you're not seeing the rotate gizmo rotating um, so go ahead and tap E a second time and it will toggle to the local space and then you see it's now aligned with it so you can rotate it on its local axis. Um, and the same is true for the for the transform and you probably want to do that too for you know more accurate placement. So um, I'm going to do it like that. That's pretty good for now. Um, of course you would probably be Putting it in more carefully when you're really doing it for good. And now what you want to do is come down and find the, not the look at, but the attach section and pick parent and then click on his chest about where you, you know, just more or less where it is. And that will attach it to the you know, most likely the spine too, that's the upper chest bone. And now it will move with the character. Um, and now because it's attached to your character, it is an accessory at this point. So if you now send your character back to CC, um, it will still be there. It will be attached and you can save it to your content library here um, by hitting the plus key or the plus key back in CC3 as well. So hope that's helpful.